Okay, ladies, I had a few requests on how I did my curly fro for my friend Kenya's wedding. If you're interested in this look, stay tuned. Hey, y'all, how you doing? I know it's been a minute since I recorded something. I'm terrible, I know. So, I'm sorry, I've been super busy, but I gotta do something with this head. It is looking a hot mess right now, as you can see, ugh. So, let's go ahead and get started. Here's what you'll need, four clips. Ooh, ooh. Some Nairobi foam wrap. My favorite Design Essentials HCO leave-in conditioner. And that's it. First things first, we wanna do section our hair. I have it sectioned on two sides right now and I'm gonna make it four. Now that we have our hair in our four sections, it's time to get started working. First, grab your oil. I have my oil that I made myself. It's a mixture of different oils. I just put that on the ends because my hair is freshly washed, shampooed rather. I'm ready to work. As you can see here, I have my foam wrap on. And what I'm doing on the back of my hair here, I'm just detangling a little more. And I'm going to do a flat twist all the way down. And I leave the ends free so that they, way they can wrap around the rod. Oh, I forgot to mention you need perm rods <laughs> for this curly fro tutorial. Okay. Using my, I first spray my hair with my Design Essentials HCO just to moisturize and help me be able to get through my hair because I let it air dry a little bit. And now I'm just putting my foam wrap on, sectioning it off, getting ready to twist. And here, I'm just showing you guys um, how I flat twist it towards the front so you can see it more clearly or how I'm doing it. I just pretty much flat twist my hair going towards the front. Leaving the ends free. Making sure I saturate the hair with that foam wrap so that way my ends can lay down really, really good. I'm secure with my rod. And I continue that to the last section. the top of my head in the back so you can see how it's rolled and twisted. A little close up there. Whew, now it's finally time to get ready for bed. I'm just going to show you real quick how I tie this down. But before I go to bed, I'm going to let it air dry some before I actually put a scarf on. But I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video. And here's my scarf. <laughs> And just put it on like this. Tie it around to the back. Right now I don't have a bonnet because mine is all stretched out. So I had to use this scarf to tie my hair up with. And that's it. Good night. Okay guys, so it's the next day. Finally made it through. I had to go to the gym like this and everything. But I'm taking my rides down. 
I sped this up for you guys so y'all don't have to sit here and watch me do all of this super slow. Some of these rods I put in upside down. And right here I'm just showing you what it looks like in the back. So you have an idea of what your hair should look like after you get done uh, setting it overnight. It's also good to sit under the dryer too. That's what I did last time. I sat under the dryer for about, mm, say 15 minutes, just to make sure it was dry. Now right here, I'm just separating my curls. Because it's so new, the curls are just like extra tight. So now I'm finally done. Woo! It's finally out. Now it's time to work, 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 work. You gotta shake that head, keep putting oil in it. Do what you gotta do to get it how you wanna get it. I just grabbed a comb out of my drawer there, try to fluff up these roots, which that wasn't really working for me. <laughs> so now I'm just doing my little rock star shake. <laughs> and working, 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 working until I get this style that I'm looking for. It's not quite the style I'm looking for the first day because I like my hair the day after the first day. I don't like when it's fresh like this. It's just too perfect looking, but it's still cute. <laughs> I'm just checking it on the back because that's what I always do. And there's my finished product. <laughs> I have to just kind of settle with this until uh, the next day comes and the day after that when it gets old. But showing you the back. Hope you guys like. This is it. having a wonderful day um i hope you guys enjoyed this hair tutorial it's been a long time coming i'm so sorry i disappeared on you guys looks like i've been having a kind of an eventful summer so between weddings and trips to florida and everything else you know i've been up to i've just been a little bit busy but i'm back and i'm ready to film some more tutorials for you guys um i have a request for uh, from a few people for a tutorial for my Bantu Not Out. If you guys, um, if any of you follow me on Instagram, I uh, did a Bantu Not Out last week and I will be doing that tutorial next week. I didn't want to do it again this week because uh, Bantu Knots, I don't know, they're kind of hard to sleep in and they kind of hurt my head a little bit. So I'll be doing that for you guys next week. Um, <laughs> so, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, this is the style that I did for my friend Kenya's wedding and um, the day she got married I actually uh, put it up in a little puff and let the bangs kind of sit up you know like this and put a little headband over it so yeah this is kind of this is pretty much what it looked like you know um, I never like my hair the first day I like it after it starts settling and getting big I like it when it's big and frizzy so um, I can't wait till it gets out of this perfect state and starts getting real so yeah um anyway <laughs> I'm gonna go now because I have to get ready for church in a little bit but um thank you to all my new subscribers and old subscribers those of y'all have been sticking with me um I thank you so much for your patience and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video I love you guys so much I hope you have a blessed wonderful evening